Rama Rao, who is a distinguished defense scientist whose name is synonymous with India's strides in missile technology. Handpicked by the legendary Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam in the early 1980s, Dr. Rama Rao became the youngest project director of the Akash Missile Program, then a visionary surface uh, to air defense system under development. Over the course of more than 15 years, he led a dynamic and ever expanding team. At one point, over 1,000 scientists across multiple DRDO labs guiding Akash from uh, conception to a formidable battlefield ready system. And beyond Akash, Dr. Ramarao has contributed significantly to other programs as well. So appreciate you taking out the time and speaking to us. First up, the Prime Minister in his Independence Day speech has praised Make in India weapons. How do you feel when you hear uh, the praises uh, the Akash missile system is getting? In fact, uh, uh, one, one is uh, we have uh, shown the Akash missile system working very nicely in the battlefield, especially by the user, Army, Air Force officers, senior officers have personally congratulated me. But uh, more than that, uh, Prime Minister announcing that uh, Indian-made weapons have done a wonderful job on the Red Fort uh, is really very great. It's very touching. Uh, we, I feel very proud also. I feel very happy that about 1,000 scientists have worked continuously with the full support of their family members. And therefore, the credit goes to all the family members of 1,000 scientists for 15 years. They have worked continuously to make Akash weapon system a world-class missile system worth any country possessing it. It's a great day for me. So a massive barrage of missiles by Pakistan and uh, we stopped them flawlessly. What makes Akash missile system so precise and so good? You know, the missile system has been designed with the two very special characteristics what the uh, Army and Air Force requested. One is they say you should be handle multiple targets, not one aircraft or one unmanned air vehicle or one drone or one missile. Suppose the 12 of them are coming, all the 12 should be simultaneously engaged and tracked and destroyed. This is what the, the users demanded. So we provided that using a what is known as a phased array radar system, first time done in the country for a missile system and a laboratory in Bengaluru called LRD played a key role. And this is one feature which makes Akash very, very uh, sort of a, uh, you know, desirable for any user. Second is, it's uh, the accuracy and the speed. And uh, they, they wanted the missile should maintain its full speed of uh, nearly Mach 2, 3, Mach more than 2 to 3 Mach numbers till interception. So we have to use what is known as a ramjet propulsion. See, it is not a normal rocket motor, a ramjet engine, which will keep on thrusting the missile till it intercepts. That is, the speed will never come down. Once the speed will not come down, its maneuvering will remain whatever required maneuvering. And then we designed a very uh, sort of a, our own patented radio proximity fuse and a warhead that it goes very near the target and the warhead explodes by the fuse. Then the aircraft has to suffer damage, serious damage, and fall as a debris. This is what these are two features which we have very meticulously worked out and provided. And uh, I, we are happy to see Akash do, doing a wonderful job. And we also saw Akash Prime subsequently uh, seen by the Army and the Air Force how it is very accurately done it. So we are happy that the engineers and scientists and technicians have done a great job. So what was the idea behind Akash Missile when this project uh, was created and thought of? What happened, we went to the, uh, yeah, we means the DRDO. I was very young <laughs> scientist when we the approach the uh, DIA, Ministry of Defense and uh, Cabinet Secretariat to fund uh, a missile program. The country's requirement was like today what Modi ji told Atma Nirbharata. The country's requirement was we should stop importing any systems for defense. So at that time in 1983, 
all the missiles rockets guns were all imported so the government said that we want to stop the imports make our own so the army and the air force gave a list of four missiles and these are the latter named to be called akash prithvi trishul and uh, agni and uh, nag these are the four missiles they said we require immediately for the next uh, uh, whatever encounter that may happen in next 2 to 3 uh, decades that's how we made uh, then dr kalam was uh, identified as the program director so he added the agni missile for strategic requirement so five missiles were made and uh, i'm glad to inform that all the five missiles have come been made successfully and akash is not only met the requirements of our own army and air force but uh, many other countries have demanded we have delivered we exported and we think some more export will take place and uh, brahmos is a later addition with dr kalam uh, when he found out that the russians have done some ground work for a supersonic cruise missile they have done a ground work they are wait they were waiting for a partner and india partners so brahmos akash and the air defense with using the uh, beam weapons was a complete uh, array of uh, air defense multi layered air defense so uh, the adversary cannot enter our boundary our uh, international borders before that they will be annihilated this is what happened and uh, we are uh, thank army air force for, for demanding such a weapon and uh, we are happy that we stood up the requirements of army and air force and delivered when they have needed most so when you made this missile uh, did you ever think it would uh, gain uh, you know this kind of an attention this kind of global attention no no what happened we all thought we used to watch you know every independent uh, republic day parade and we used to see akash missile being uh, uh, moving very nicely on the rajpath we thought this is what we will see and we will do clapping and say this is my missile we worked for it 10 years and thing like that we used to talk we never thought it will go to global stage we thought this is a national pride but we were really in the november when we heard it ventured into the war field and the in the real war scenario it has worked in the battlefield conditions it has worked it gave us very very you know i mean as an indian i am i really feel extremely proud for contributing to the atmanir bharata what government of india is demanding and we are happy and uh, and i think more and more such uh, uh, pride moments will be there where we can display all our uh, various science and technology intensely science and technology based weapon system so did operations in dhoot teach any lessons about air defense and its future and how you know we can make it better anything in air defense we think there are going to be some changes will take place both in the tactics and strategy air defense will will definitely go through some more modifications improvements and changes we are aware of it we are internally discussing both with the army air force and navy and the drd also and uh, in involving front line scientists and technologies and uh, i think uh, we will generate appropriate defense mechanisms but uh, we should not discuss exactly what we want to do but uh, we are uh, uh, sensitive to the future demands in the air defense because as you have seen what uh, even the our users have told it will be a non contact defense because there won't be any uh, soldier to soldier issue at all it will be non contact we will be within our safe borders and whoever has to attack he has to come from far distances it will be non contact warfare highly technically challenging warfare sir can you tell us the inspiration about uh, naming the missile uh, akash thir what is the significance of this name according to you see uh, significant see we had the first missile we named is prithvi it was meant for ground to ground attack 
then we wanted the ground to air defense air, air air force wanted defense ground to air defense so we when having a ground to ground prithvi we said better to see akash because we also um, believed in you know panchabhutas you know so akash prithvi then akash then like that we thought we will go so it is going to defend our akash entire akash belongs to us so um you know we used to have a tag line ak sara akash hamara this is our tag line for akash team sara akash hamara that is entire akash in, in the in the country is uh, is our own that means we can own it nobody can come and enter without our permission or our allowance this is what we did sara akash hamara so and dr kalam approved when you said akash title he said i think it's a good title we will stick to akash so on this independence day uh, we want to thank scientists like yourself who have built these capable missiles can you tell us your story and uh, you know what made you take this journey and then eventually join drdo <laughs> see what happened i was uh, i was i joined the uh, institute of science bangalore for masters in uh, aeronautics so aer- aeronautics and space because i also was wondered how things can fly you know when i look at a aircraft with 100 200 people inside how can it fly what is the mechanism how do we calculate all those things i used to wonder as a boy so i joined in institute of science for uh, aerospace aerospace and then there was an offer from the ministry of defense to drdo uh, a special uh, branch called rockets and missiles So that is first year is normal aeronautics second year rockets and missiles that attracted me oh my goodness if i can understand rockets and missiles i'll understand everything in the aero- aerospace so i prefer to uh, change my stream from simple aeronautics to rockets and missiles so i became extremely close i have visited all space establishments and uh, missile establishments in the country during my uh, student days itself so i was really fascinated and uh, and i think uh, that fascination gave me the inspiration and the energy commitment and capability all i got because that uh, that kind of a uh, you know uh, fascination for me and uh, the education background we had at the institute of science also helped me to de- de- carry out the designs of the hardware and the software for a missile system and i am grateful to isa bangalore my college uvc bangalore then dr kalam who was my mentor elder brother my boss my leader all that he was there so we thank everybody and today and that has given us going towards atmanirbharata i am very happy thank you so really appreciate you taking out the time and speaking to us it's been a pleasure speaking with you and listening to you and uh, the whole nation is very proud of what you have done for india